much further. Must have ice cream. We could have some of my mom's hell squares for energy. Oh, not, not her cement, cement squares. Ugh. They taste like sand. Hmm. Look! It must be a mirage! Kids, I'd like you all to meet Lil Freddy Frosty. Oh. I haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. They used to have them at lots of ice cream shops. Where'd he come from? I found him buried out in the junkyard. I bet he's gonna help me sell a lot of ice cream. Speaking of which, how about a double scoop of chocolate chocolate chip? Remember? I... I saw something. It's the heat. You're suffering from de-ice creamification. Uh... Dear Vampire Diary, too hot to sleep. And today's strange encounter has my vampire senses working overtime. Just who is this Freddy? How did he end up in the junkyard? And what is he really up to? <coughs> it's okay, Fang. Maybe we'll finally get some rain. It's another scorcher, folks. We hope that crazy light show last night might have brought rain, but no such luck. So why not cool off at Mr. Hyde's ice cream parlor? Just look for giant little Freddy Frosty, cause he'll be looking for you! What you gonna have? I'm dying for a green moon monster freeze. My usual vampire special, with a scoop of tuna ice for Fang. Wow. Just give me some of that air conditioning. Wow. Closed? On the hottest day of the summer? No way! It must be a mistake, Mr. Hyde! What happened here? The air conditioning and refrigeration broke overnight, and every last scoop of my ice cream melted. Who do you think is responsible? Not who, but what. That electrical storm last night did it. No cones today, kids, but if you help me mop up, I promise you a week of free milkshakes. and not what that took the ice cream. Let's search little Freddy for clues. Ice cream drips. And a loose bolt. Hmm, it's just as I suspected. Freddy was probably hungry. After who knows how many years of wasting away in junkyards, he'd worked up a mighty big appetite. At last, a lightning bolt gave him the strength to break free from his bonds and satisfy his hunger. What a monster! Actually, Freddy's quite gentle and law-abiding once his tummy's full. Well, at least he shouldn't be any more trouble now that he's full. Or maybe he's just woken up his appetite. We'd better keep an eye on him tonight. If you raid the ice cream store again, we're cooked! Yeah! Camping out with us, Mr. Parker. Yeah, and thanks for the marshmallows. I ought to warn you, Charlie. More than 20 on one stick have been known to make a kid sick. I thought that 18, I think. It's too hot to sleep inside tonight, but I still don't see what was wrong with a backyard camp out. <sighs> That's steak out, Dad. And we couldn't possibly keep the suspect under surveillance from the backyard. Oh, right. Okay by me. I just love camp outs and steak outs. Home, home on the range, where 
the deer and the antelope play. Oh, then again, where seldom I think I lost count at 18. Too many marshmallows. <coughs> oh no. <sighs> He's still here. Uh oh. That wasn't there before. <laughs> We blew the whole stake out by falling asleep. Who could stay awake with your dad singing those boring songs? And after eating all of the marshmallows. Holy Toledo, a pizza heist. I know I set the alarm last night, and this morning all the pizzas were gone. Freddy. You know this kid, Mona? Give me a full description. Well, he really stands out in a crowd. He'll be wearing a red baseball cap, white t-shirt, and red pants. This is good. We'll apprehend the suspect in a jiffy with this description. Anything else? He's a little on the chubby side, and oh yeah, he's about 50 feet tall. <laughs> he's a big one. What? The culprit is none other than Lil Freddy Frosty. Freddy must have been overcome by hunger again last night. And since he's already cleaned out Mr. Hyde's, he set off in search of something else to fill his ever-expanding belly. Ooh, pizza! <laughs> Mona, that's your most cockamamie story yet. A 50-foot pizza-eating statue. <laughs> and just how would you explain it? Very simply, it went like this. This heat wave is making people act dopey. Francis must have left without putting the pizzas in the fridge. Then that lightning storm zapped some wires and the oven started up, burning the pizzas until whew, there was nothing left. Then how do you explain the red spot I found on Freddy's shirt this morning? Probably rust or something. Mm, it sure is a shame, though. We're running out of places to get a decent snack. But at least there's still a donut shop. Attention all units. Trouble at donut shop. All contents missing, apparently eaten. <gasps> Freddy! He's getting worse. We've got to stop him before he eats the whole town! It's time for Plan B. There's no way he's getting past us tonight. Yes! Oh, 
over here, Freddy. I've got the ultimate in snacking satisfaction. Freddy likes event squares. Shame the storm knocked that telephone pole right onto little Freddy last night. They sure don't make them like that anymore. You're right about that, Mr. Hyde. But don't worry, Freddy's eaten his last meal for a while. <laughs> should try something a little different. I don't know about this. I mean, a keyboard. Give it a try. You never know. It couldn't possibly be any worse. Hey, not bad! I gotta go, Charlie! I'm going out for dinner with my parents! See ya! I think we've found what I've been looking for, boys. I've been admiring your talents from a distance, kid. I think we might be able to help each other out. Can we go back? Sorry, sweetie, we're already late. What's with the jacket, Charlie? Forget your pajamas at home? Yeah, what's it to you, Georgie? You want to wear them? There's something strange going on. My vampire senses are tingling. Look at him. <laughs> What are you looking at? Did I tell you I've been chosen by a big record producer to join a hip new band? He saw me playing. I think he was blown away. Something's definitely not normal. Does he have ants in his pants? to him. Hey, watch the threads. Have you seen a kid around here with blonde hair, glasses? Sorry, kid, I haven't seen Charlie all day. Vampires? That's right, and I don't think they're good vampires. You think they're after Charlie? Charlie's changed. They were at the music store. He knew Charlie's name. And you saw the chain he was wearing. <laughs> I think Charlie's in trouble. Charlie! Charlie, we're starting to worry about you. Maybe you guys are just jealous that I'm in a band and that I have the talent to be a big star. So that's what your leader's telling you? Just a band? I gotta go, chumps. I'm late. There's not much else we can do except warn him. I thought I saw someone spying behind that tree. Footprints? We're gonna have to be extra careful. 
I think we're being followed. We're being followed again. Come on, after him. That's not who is following us. We're after them, and they're after us. We might be in big trouble. I think we need some ice cream to think this through. There must be something we can do to help Charlie. Marty, Marty, Marty. I found the perfect addition, and he's spellbound by the opportunity. We have to break the spell. Charlie is powerless to do anything about it. He's just what I need to complete my master plan. Once I plug the last piece into the Transmorphathon, the world will be mine for the taking. He must be using Charlie to finish his brain sucking Transmorphathon. We have to stop him. Mona, look! I'm sure I saw some boots. This is getting serious. Time for Mona the Vampire and Princess Giant to get to work. Come on. He really is changing. If the Transmorphathon gets finished, it'll transmorphify the entire world into zombies and vampires! So we have to stop Charlie from joining that band of bratty vampires! Hunter. Mona the Vampire. I haven't seen you since our ultimate slime pit duel where we joined forces against Angela. Yeah, I've been busy. Lately I've been trailing this vampire music geek. I still don't know what he's up to. I found out he's building a transmorphathon to transmorphify people into vampires. Like he's already started to do with Charlie. I figured it was something like that, but I didn't know how Charlie fit into it. Charlie's in trouble, and it looks like they're heading for the big performance right now. Keep an eye on him. I'll get more supplies. It looks like we have a battle coming. Again. We know about your devious plans to change everyone in the world into vampires, and we're going to stop you. You're not stopping anything. Soon, Charlie will be a complete vampire, thanks to the mighty power of the Transmorphathon. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. What are we going to do now? Let's go meet up with Nicole. Take these just in case. Bad vampires hate garlic. Uh-oh. They've started up the Transmorphathon! Come on! But won't we be affected by the sounds of the Transmorphathon? Right. Portable sound excluders. Let's go! My pretties, play! Audience, 
How splendid! You have to be faster than that! Try that on for size! That's it. We quit. We've had enough. We don't care if this will sell. We just want to do our own music. You'll regret this. I could have made you stars. Big stars. Remember, anytime you try to transmorphify the world, we'll be there to stop your fiendish plans. I don't understand, kids, today. I offer you the world on a silver... Are floor. you all right? Glad you guys showed up. He was way too serious. Mona, Lily, I want you to meet Steve, Dave, and Rick. Their band's called Wrathchild. Hey, I love your look. Hmm, McGroover's rented this rehearsal space for us. Let's jam. When the going gets tough and the tough are cool, you better hope it's not the graveyard. When the going gets tough and the tough are 